Morning, everybody. Let's get this thing started. Come on, you can do it. All right, I'm live, everybody. Good morning. This is Brandon Vidal with Vidal Properties here in Cascade, Michigan. Today, we're going to be doing some live. Take a guess. We're going to do some live lead generation, calling some expired listings, and making it happen. So let me go ahead and get you plugged in up here. Battery to that bad boy. All right. So I'll go ahead and jump on the dialer and see what we can get done today. Go ahead and start dialer. <clears throat> I had everything pulled up and ready to go. All right, dial is starting. Good morning. I don't know who's watching, but here we go. Call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Drop message. Leaves my voicemail and goes on to the next call. Nice and easy. I think that's the line I like. But the person you call right. has a voice mailbox that has so not been set up yet. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Can you hear me okay? Hi, uh, my name is Brandon. I live and work here in Cascade Ada area and I run a real estate company and I noticed the property on Parnell Avenue. Is this the right, uh, is this the right number? Yes, ma'am. I was calling about the home I noticed on Parnell that had come up expired. Is that is that your home? Um, my husband owns it. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so I, I'm, should I read between the lines on that? Are you guys to get? Is it you guys still together? I'm I'm a realtor. I'm a realtor. You're a realtor. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay, so are 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 you Janet? Yeah. Hi, Janet. <laughs> Are you in? <laughs> well, I, well, I, you know, I'm, I'm a good, I'm a good miner. So, <laughs> uh, you know, we, um, actually, I have a, a, I had it listed for sale or for lease, and um, I have a guy relocating from out of state that um, he, he said I'm going to lease it until I get things organized, and then he'll probably buy it. It's a beautiful piece of property. Yeah, I like it. No. Yeah. yeah All right. It's a beautiful piece of property. But um, here's this real funny. Last night at like five o'clock, I got another phone call, and I just played along because I, I wanted to hear what it sound was. When I told him, I said, "You know, I said, where did you not call this? Are you really? <laughs> and, and what? Are you? <laughs> yes, yes. And you are. I think yesterday we had seven phone calls. Really? And the, the, yeah. And um, I would never, you know, that, that could be 11 grand a pop. You know that? Yeah. Um, and I said to the, and here's another phone call coming in. Oh, boy. Okay, so this is three this morning. 
Um, <laughs> real funny, I said, I go, oh, okay. And he said, just curious, how did you get my number? And he called my cell. I'm not even an owner of record. My husband is. <laughs> he goes, well, the previous owner gave me your number. Oh, no. And I'm going, I go, I got the number. I go, you're kidding me. So he dug back. It, it, who owned it before? Called her. And she gave me his phone number. She gave her, him, my phone number. Yeah, phone number. yeah. But she bought our house and we took this one on trade. Oh, wow. So she thought she was doing me a favor. Little did she know I expired it because you know, I, mean, I don't have to run it through my office. We own it. Boom. <laughs> yeah. No, it's nice and easy. Sure. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I got your number through Mojo. Uh, just pulled information for today. And so uh, just yeah. kind, of, kind of my thing. So do you work? Are yeah. you, you live? You, are you still staying up here? Are you just down there for the winter? I'm, I'm licensed in Michigan. I am licensed down here. Oh, really? Okay. This is our sixth year. We're six months. My husband's retired. So. I just come down here and do the same thing. Go yeah. clean, grocery shop, do laundry. Oh, yeah, it hurts. <laughs> down here. This is, you know, it's crazy down here. Yeah. Yeah, no, we, we, we plan on getting in there as well, so. Well, well, I, I will, I will let you run, and you know, I, I'd like to, okay. you know, I appreciate your kindness, and um, yeah. I'll, I'll keep my eye out for it. I appreciate your time. Perfect. All right, take yeah, care. Thanks. Bye. All right, so she was a realtor. Wife is a is the realtor. Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Brandon. I was looking for the owner there. Uh, is it Mr. Dolan on 21 Mile? Uh, you have the wrong number, sir. I may have misdialed with my fingers here. I, I meant to dial 616-481-6888. Is that the number I dialed? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, well that, this is my cell phone. No, that's okay. I may just have a... I, I may just have a bad number. I was looking for the owner uh, at 3779 21 Mile Road, the, the Mr. Jason Dolan. He had a house for sale. Um, does that no, name? That's not me. Okay. Uh, name doesn't mean anything. I live in Standale. All right. Well, I will mark this as a bad number. You may still get some phone calls from Keller agents. It just won't be from Vidal Properties. Um, oh, so I'll make, I'll make sure no one from my team calls you. Um, so I'll mark this as a bad number. Do you happen to know anybody on the planet who needs a realtor or should be one? Uh, I do not know anybody. Right? All right. Well, I appreciate your time. Good morning to you. Thank you. All right. Bye now. Oh, hello. Nick Howell. Hello, Nick. Oh. What's up, wait? What's up, Nick? It's calling through some expires, my friend. Hello. Hi, good morning. As, uh, my name is Brandon. Is this Ben? Uh, who is this? My name is Brandon. I was looking for uh, Ben Bosworth. Okay. Speaking. Hi, Ben. Good morning to you. I uh, I was called. I own Vidal Properties here at Cascade, and I noticed the property on Whispering Brook. 
Yeah. Yeah. I was curious, is that still something that you still would like to sell maybe this year? Uh, at the moment, likely not, but maybe. Maybe, maybe not now. Okay. All right. Is there a, a time of the year that you think might be better for you? Well, depends on how things shake down, but yeah, we are coming into the busy season. Busy season for for your job? No, for selling out. Oh, well, actually, if you if you knew if I were to ask you what you think the two months of the year with the most pendings and closings are, what would you say that those two months are? It definitely wouldn't be December and January. It it, it actually it's June and and December. Uh, J- June and December are the, the two months of the year with the most closings and pendings. Uh, the winter is actually one of the, the busiest times. So uh, were you thinking maybe you do it maybe in like April or something? Not sure. Okay. Well, let me ask you, w- would you rather list the property when you have a ton of competition and not serious shoppers or or when you have very little competition and only serious shoppers? Uh, either one or both. All right. Well, you, if you did sell this place, Mr. Bennett, is, do you mind if I asked where you might be going? Are you going to stay local or go to another state? Okay. And when do you think you might interview somebody to, to help you out with that job? Well, I guess we're kind of doing that even right now. I'm sorry? I guess we're doing that right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for the most part. I mean, uh, the average agent helps about six to eight families a year. And uh, last year I, I helped, geez, I think we were just about 45 expireds we helped. Um, so it's kind of my thing. I like going in and doing a little extra um, adjustment in the marketing and, and getting the property sold. So um, do you mind if I ask what you think stopped the place from selling while you had it on the market for, I think, 130 days? Uh I, I, I don't feel that it's a good time of year actually to sell a house. That, that's pretty common. Yeah, that, that's that's pretty common. Uh, however, I mean, it, if you think about it, Mother Nature does you a great favor in the winter. She gets rid of everyone who's not serious. Um, so historically for me, the, the winter has been a great time because you really weed out all the, the unnecessary competition. Um, well, it sounds like you're, you're, uh, getting ready for work or getting in the, in and out of the vehicle. You have some stuff today to do, and I don't, I don't want to hinder that too terribly. Here's, here's my question. If I could show you how to sell it in the next 30 to 45 days, that would be worth, you know, 30 minutes of your time. Wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. yeah. That would be nice. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I, I'd, um, I, ha- I don't have any. Do you have an email, Ben? Yeah. Hang on a quick second. Okay, sure. I love you guys, but I'm going to try not to put his email out there.
I am. Yeah, so basically, if, <clears throat> if you'll give me your email, I'll drop you an email with a, a welcome kit and my marketing plan, a couple things you can see without having to talk to me. Um, and then essentially, if there's a day of the week that's best for you, I can swing through and uh, give you everything I know about selling a house. And I'll help you even if you decide to sell it yourself and give you advice. It's kind of a karma thing for me. Um, you mind if I take your email and shoot you my info? Okay. This is mm -hmm. Bosworth Builders. And you said Gmail. Okay. All right. Well, Ben, what time of day is, uh, are you, you obviously run a building company, so you're working long days. Is there a, a time of the week, be it uh, late weekdays or Saturday or weekends that are best for you to, to have a little time? Yeah. <laughs> that's a good, that's rather, it's better than watching the tumbleweeds blow by for sure. Uh. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Well, I mean, is uh, maybe a Sunday after church and Costco or something like that might work or? Okay. Well, tell you what, I currently I have um, I'm taking a family member out to see a bunch of houses on Sunday, um, you know, Sunday morning into the afternoon. I could block something maybe around five o'clock on or four o'clock on Sunday and see if that's good for you in the meantime. Okay, I'll do that. I'll put you down uh, for about four, four thirty on my schedule. Shoot you an email, and if something comes up that doesn't work for you, just let me know, Ben. Um, uh, I'll I'll put it. <laughs> All right. Um, well, then I'll uh, I'll touch base with you just to make sure we're good. And is the is the property all paid for? Or is there still something on the on the balance? It's not free. Okay. Well, we'll worry about that math later. I'll just bring you a net sheet so you can see what that would look like. And um, in the meantime, if I look at the old listing, I know it just expired. Haven't done anything new to the inside. The pictures are still the same. If I look at the photos, still still the same house. Okay. All right. And I know you had it listed originally at like 535, 528. Um, what are you hoping, what are you thinking you'd like to, to list it for or get, get out of it in the end? Right where you had it? Okay. No, good to know. All right. Well, I'll do my homework on it and and uh, I'll drop an email. Maybe your, your gal will pull it up and I'll check with you make sure Sunday's good. Okay. All right. Well, good morning, Ben. I appreciate your time. I can tell you're running and going. Do you do any renovations, by the way? I've got an investor wanting to do some in renovations here on properties from California. Do you do any of that? So, you, okay, you don't just build. Some builders won't do renos. Okay. Is it? Okay. And if I look up Bosworth uh, Building online, I can find some, some stuff for you. All right. Yeah, I'm trying to line up a couple of these these investors in California with some builders that we can work with here, uh, sort of build up some houses on the west side. Cool. All right. Well, good morning, Ben. I appreciate your time. All right. Bye. Okay. So, guys, sometimes people will be standoffish. He was giving me what I wanted. And yet he was still a little standoffish. So, hey, what's up, Mike? What's up, Kurt? What's up, peeps? So he, he was a little standoffish. And at the same time, he was welcoming. So, like, he was he was telling jokes. You know, he was like, it's busier than shit. So it was, you know, it's better than watching the tumble, tumbleweeds blow. 
He was like, shit, I'd have been happy just sitting around all winter watching Netflix. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. It was. Uh, no, I started around 8.07, I think it was there, Mr. Kurt. And uh, I was here at 10 after 7 just doing a bunch of work and got carried away. So I wanted to be able to pull up this stuff for everybody um, and record. So it took me a couple minutes to do that. Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Uh, 530,000. It's an expired listing. It's an appointment. Now I'll call him this weekend, make sure he's still good uh, for Sunday. I have a showing day Sunday from 1030 until the afternoon. So this guy's local is close to me. That'll make it easier. Um, so expired. Let's see. Ben. Okay, next. So we'll mark him as a dead lead so he doesn't wind up back in my dialer. Open to meeting. Said Sunday, 4.30, 5 p.m. Good work. He's pulling double shifts as a builder. Okay, this is set for Sunday. It's going to be Sunday the 26th, 2020. PM, boom. All right, so I'll mark him as a contact and move on to the next. Hey, Kurt. Hey, thanks for coming in, man. Thanks for checking it out. Good morning, Miss Robin. So that would be... I feel like this is looking on my nose. Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Brandon. I was looking for uh, Mr. Wright. Hi, Randy. How are you? All right. Good morning. Good morning. I have a property there on Wallenwood uh, Court there in Jenison by the golf cart. Uh, excuse me, by the golf course. And I noticed your property a couple months ago. Um, and then I just saw that it came up expired. Is that something you're going to consider selling again this year? may consider selling in the spring. Okay. Um, and do you mind if I ask what would be um, important about maybe the spring or a good time for the spring for you? This is about 4,000 square feet. We're looking to downsize a little bit. Didn't really find anything we liked all that well. And you know, we would probably entertain a good offer if it was here, but we don't have to move, and we just decided we want to move right now. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and if, if you did sell it, where was it that you were looking? Is it in, in Genesis? Are you worried about, are the kids grown? Are you staying, like, in Genesis schools or kind of going somewhere else? We don't know. We were looking all the way down south to Florida, back out to Arizona. Wow. <laughs> All right. So are you guys post? Are you guys post employed and just have all sorts of options and trying to figure it out? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay. 
All right. Well, I'll tell you what, if, if, uh, if you find that, that there's a state that you like, uh, I have resources around the world. I can easily find you the top two or three realtors in any city and give you a name. Um, that way you don't wind up with right. a part-timer. And, um, you know, some of us are really good at finding properties that are in the hidden market. So the properties that aren't on uh, properties that aren't on the MLS. So for instance, right. if, if you're going to consider looking in West Michigan, um, I call, you know, make me moves, expired listings. I, I knock on doors. I, you know, a lot of things to find properties that are off the market. So, you know, that, that might be a good way to help you find something that, that, uh, you know, is, is a little harder to locate. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And well, we were, we were real happy that kind of the way our property is here, the people we work with, we, you know, it wasn't an issue there. And like we told them, you know, if you find a good offer and it's a, a solid offer, you know, give us a call. We'd be willing to, to work with somebody. So this kind of got ours as kind of a pocket list statement. If you find somebody that's looking for what we've got, you know, give us a call. If not, we're just kind of setting the and we're good either way. Sure, sure. So um, I, I'm pretty familiar with the group you were with, and um, I, I actually was with them for a long time, for about four years. So um, I know they do it. They make a good effort. So um, let me see. Okay. Is she are you talking to me? That's it. Well, my wife's talking to somebody else. We had probably 30 calls since we took it off the MLS. Oh my gosh. All right. Yeah. Well, hey, how about how about this? I, I see it I see an email, Randy, that looks like uh looks like a cook energy email. Is that accurate? Uh no. Okay. Uh, what I'd love to do is just drop you an email uh, with my information. And then, you know, if I can find somebody that's looking in that area, I'll, I'll reach back out. And if there's anything I can do to help, I'm here. Okay. What's your email, Randy? Okay. All right. All right. Well, I appreciate your time and I'll be in touch. Okay. All right. See you, Randy. Bye. Okay. Could I, could I have dug more? Yes, maybe. Uh, he got another call in the, in the background. Um, his wife got another call. She's like, this is like the 30th call. Uh, in a couple of days. So I could have kept going. Uh, he did give me his email, which made it uh, easier for me to say, okay, I'll back off a little bit here. You know, I like to listen to people. So, you know, he's telling me, hey, look, we, we couldn't find anything. We had it on the market for 130 days. And honestly, I, you know, I, I think we're just going to sit tight for a little bit, kind of figure out what we're doing. We're looking between Florida and Michigan and Arizona. You know, they got a lot going on. So for me, uh, the best thing I could have done at that moment is listen to him and um, and not push him. He was, uh, you know, it's just my way of reading people. So as far as I could tell, he was he was not he was not into really doing much more. So I have his info. I'll communicate with him and stay in touch. And see if there's anything I can do to help him going forward. It's so hot in here.
Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Seven, three, four. Our call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach has a voicemail box that has... Uh, good morning. My name is Brandon. I was calling for Mike. Do I have the right number? Yeah. Hey, Mike. Good morning. Um, I I even call because I own and, and run a real estate company here in Grand Rapids, and I noticed the property on Johnson. Uh, I was curious if that's something. Yeah, we're trying to sell it on our own. We already went through real other ones. Okay. Hey, that's great. I, I actually help a lot of for sale by owners sell their properties, um, so I can give you some okay. pointers. and. Are you going to go ahead and put that up shortly or are you going to wait until a little bit later? No, I already got it listed. Oh, you did? Okay. Uh, let's see. So mm -hmm. when you receive an offer, are you sure on how to check and make sure you have the most recent uh, West Michigan purchase agreement? It was recently uh, changed. Um, I don't know about all that, but we're going to have the title agency handle all that. Okay. Well, so you'll want to make sure I received about 39 offers on a house uh, last year. 20 of them were with the wrong purchase agreements from re realtors and real estate attorneys. Um, so mm -hmm. what I'd be glad to do, Mike, is share the revisions page and the new purchase agreement with you, along with the seller's disclosure and lead-based paint forms you'll need. Um, I see an email. looks like uh, first name, last name, 5.3. At, G at Gmail, is that right? Say it again. Uh, first name, last name, 5.3 at Gmail. Oh, uh, no, that's an old, old uh, one. I see one's first initial, last well, name. I think we're good, man. No, that's fine. I'm not looking to, to yeah, I'm not looking to do anything but give you some some help because I, I mean, geez, I, last year I helped to almost 40 expireds. So at the end of the day, I can give you some pointers or you can just hang up on me, buddy. That'd be awesome. All right. Going Fizbo. Call him back in a week. <laughs> He'll need help then. They already had a realtor for 184 days. Now they think they can do it on their own. So that email's bad. That's all right. I have another one. Oh, the stuff is just falling out. Hi, this is Karen. Sorry I missed your call. If you leave your name and your number, I'd be happy to get back with you. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Six one six two zero. Call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system.
I can't make it to the phone right now. I'll call you back as soon as I get the chance. Bye. That sounded like a young person. We're going to go ahead and block that one number. We won't call that one again. What's going on? Join me for expired calls. Got a couple of good contacts already. We got appointment and a nurture. Appointment at 530000 and a nurture. Hi, I'm Bree Kelly. I haven't been able to answer my phone. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks. Call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Who's there? Hello, it's Jim Lynch. Hi, Jim Lynch. I may have a bad number. This is Brandon. Uh, I was calling for an Ed or Shirley Schmidt. No, you have the wrong number. Hmm. All right, I dialed uh, 616-915-4925. Is that right? That's the number you dialed. Okay, yeah. I just want to make sure I didn't miss dial with my... Are you, a real, are you a realtor? I am. Yeah, why? Yeah, this, you're like the fifth or sixth call this week, so it oh, must be a bad... Interesting. Either getting the wrong area code or something, so... Um, so... so the, the software we use online pulls, it cross-references numbers and addresses across the internet. And sometimes we get relatives numbers, sometimes we get bad numbers. So um, I'll mark this as a bad number in my system. Um, I am I own Vidal Properties at Keller Williams, so you you won't get more calls. I can't promise that another Keller agent won't call you. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what another realtor told me as well. That okay. There must be a bad number, so. Yeah, all right. So hopefully it's getting straightened out. So yeah, no worries. It. Hey, do you happen to know anybody on the planet who needs a realtor or should be one? No, I do not. All right. Well, have a blessed day. Thank you. Thanks. Bye now. Hi, Jeff. Uh, my name is Brandon Vidal. I'm here in Cascade area. Uh, I was calling about the property on Eichmann. Um, I noticed it expired. I was curious if that's something you might consider selling again this year. Um, just sold it. You did? Okay. You sold it privately? Yep. Uh, nope. There was, I don't, there was uh, two properties on Ike Lane. One was sold privately. Privately, the other one was sold through an uh, uh, agency. Oh, nice. Well, good for you. So it sounds like that's going to turn out to be a little easier than maybe you thought for a moment. Good, good stuff. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. I'm, I'll mark this as sold. Congratulations on that. I hope it goes smoothly. Uh, is there any referral you might need for the move or the new place? I have a ton of referrals to give. Concrete work, roof uh, work. Actually, uh, already bought a new place and uh, everything has already been moved. Everything's all set there. Okay. All yeah, right. Yeah. All right. Well, congratulations. Say, since I, I talk to a lot of people and I'm always asking folks for referrals, uh, what they, you know, what they need. Um, do you mind if I ask what you do for work? Maybe I can bring you some business in the future. Um, I'm actually uh, uh, facilitate parts for uh, crafting uh, semi-trucks. 
All right. I don't know how much I can help there, <laughs> but it's, it's worth asking. It's worth asking. So, well, awesome. Um, it, it, you know, Jeff, is there anyone you can think of on planet earth that, that is going to need a realtor anytime soon or should be one? Um, I don't, honestly, I don't think so. Um, and, uh, uh, liking the apartment living for now and then uh, move my folks into a condominium so uh, a lot of the builders use their own you know realtors in the condominium so sure sure so so are you did, did i hear there might be a chance to help your 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 parents find a condo or you're going to have somebody build the one for them oh uh, they actually bought one and they actually a lot of people get a discount through the builder if they use their realtor yeah so, yep yep uh, Okay. All right. Well, hey, you know, I'd, I'd love to, I'd love to connect. Uh, since I talk to people in person, I like to connect with them online. Um, is there, I see an email, something like Martin Shelley. Is that a correct email? Oh, that would be my mother's email. <laughs> uh, could I drop you my email and then uh, connect with you online and stay in touch in case I can be of, of help with anything in the future? All right, um, I'll shoot you an email with my data. What's yours? Absolutely. Are you able to take it right now? Okay, yeah, Brandon, B-R-A-N-D-O-N. My last name is Vidal, like V-I-D-A-L. Uh, so it's Brandon at Brandon Vidal properties.com um and it and if it's all um do i what yep uh well so i'm actually in the, in the process of buying a, a, res, a resort out in grand rapid or grand uh grand haven right now so it'll be my my first property but it's a big one so <laughs> uh it's actually five multi-units we're picking up and uh but so I've been been doing this for about five years and help, you know, I helped lead a team for a few years, helping two, 300 families a year. And a year ago, I left and started my own, left the reservation, started my own and just, just kicking it. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I appreciate that. Are you, um, Jeff, are you on social? Will I find you on LinkedIn or, you know, fa uh, Facebook or Are you? Okay. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Well, I will, if I shoot an email to, to, to the Martin Shelley, well, that's your mom, you said, huh? <laughs> All right. No, I won't send an email there, but uh, yeah, look me up. If, if you can, you can find me anywhere online uh, or my company. Uh, you can Google us. You can find my, my YouTube channel or my podcast. There's a lot of stuff I'm doing with the community. So, that'd be great. That'd be great. All right, Jeff. Hey, congrats. Bye. Okay, so though he didn't have, he said he likes to fly pretty low, so he didn't really have an email. The email I have is for his mom. So he already sold. Man, I wish I could keep in touch. So look, it's always worth trying to nurture a relationship. I mean, the guy had a six hundred fifty thousand dollar house, and uh, it's you know a good guy to connect with. So I'll um, unfortunately I don't have an email for him, but he said give me yours and I'll I'll email you. So. So I'll mark it as a dead lead. You know what I might do? I just do. I'll add him. Just so. I'll send him a card.
Hello, hello, good morning. So we'll just nurture with him. I'll call back in a week or two. Oh my gosh. I'll call back in a week or two just to see how the closing's going. Yada yada yada. Just keep in touch. Say hi to him. He was really nice on the phone, so maybe he'll be nice when I reach back out. Thanks for calling. I'm not available to take your call. Please leave a message and a telephone number and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks. This is Kate Cuddle. I'm sorry, I can't take your call right now, but please leave your name and number and I'll return your call as soon as possible. Call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Six, one, six. Hi, you've reached seven nine one seven three four one. We're not able to take your call right now, so please leave your name and number, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks. Hi, Hi, good morning. My name is Brandon. I was calling for Myrtle. Do I have the right number? Mm -hmm. Hi, Miss Myrtle. I was calling about the property on Minkler Road. I noticed that it expired. Uh, is that something that you're still interested in selling this year? Uh, yes, I'm interested in selling it, but I'm not going to put it down and list it right now. Okay, when do you think you might list it? Um, well, I'm 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 headed to Florida Monday, so I want to wait till I get back, and okay. uh, then I'll put it back on. Okay, and um, not to intrude, I'm curious how long you might be in Florida then. Well, I'm thinking a couple months. Okay, uh, let's see. Let me she gets back in a couple months. Okay. And let me just check something. That's your homestead, correct? That's where you live, live? It's not an extra property? I, I don't live there, no. No, I don't. Okay, so it's not your homestead? No, okay, I see. It's, it's no. not homesteaded. Okay. So let me see. And it's, it's pretty much empty. You just have it staged a little bit? Yes. Okay. Okay. And uh, when do you think you might interview for the job of, of selling that property when you get back then? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'll make a note here. I believe, I believe it still has a key box on it. Okay. And I'm open, you know, I'm, I, I, I will pay a commission, but I, I'm not going to list it right now. 
Okay. And you know, Miss Myrtle, I'm, I'm a Marine, so I don't like pressure unless I ask for it. And that's, that's how I treat people. So this, this is not pressure. Mm -hmm. I'm curious what would be uh, special or important to you about the spring versus sooner. Just, just out of curiosity. Well, because I'm not going to be here, it's more convenient for me. Although I do have fax machine down there and so on and so forth. Um, and, I, you know, like I said, if you have someone, there is a box on there, but it's not, it's a, I believe that he left it on there. Um, it's an old key box. Yeah, lockbox. 1972. Okay, okay. It's an old, yeah. Okay. Well, Miss Miss Myrtle, let me let me ask you this: If if I were to ask you about the two months of the year that you think are have the most pendings and and closings, what two months would you think those are? I don't know. Yeah. I, I I was in the business for forty years, but I haven't been in it for ten now. So <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's, it's J June and December, uh, with January as a very close second to those. Um, where I'm going is if, if you wait, well, would you rather have a home on the market when you have a ton of competition and a bunch of looky-loos, or would you rather have a property listed when you have very little competition and only serious shoppers? Yeah, I know. I know where you're going. Yeah, uh, and I, I, and I understand that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I guess my my thought is, and I've done this for a lot of folks that go out of town during the winter to Florida, especially, is hey, you don't have to be here, and I can sell it for you while you're gone, and you don't even have to be here for the closing. I can send a mobile closer to you where you're sitting at the at the pool drinking a mai tai, um, and and that way you're taking advantage of the winter shoppers. And if you wait until spring, now you've got, you know, five to 10 competitors and a bunch of people window shopping. Whereas in, in the cold weather, I, I mean, this is what I do for a living. And I, I'll only ever list my personal properties in the dead of winter. Um, so if I can, yeah, 1 million percent, I will, I will tell you my addresses and you can look and see when I listed them and sold them. And they're my houses and I only do it in the winter. So, I mean, if I could show you how I can sell it for you while you're gone and you don't have to do anything, but just let me get the job done, I mean, that would be worth looking into, wouldn't it? Well, I guess it would, but I, like I said, uh, there is a box on there. If, you're, mm -hmm. if you want to show, if you sell it, I will pay your commission. But, um, <laughs> And I'm not, you know, um, I, I know where you're coming from, Yeah, I, but I don't want to, no. You, you don't want to sell. Well, I mean, and my thought here is if I can get it listed and market it and get it sold for you while you're gone, then it's, then it's an easy thing and you can have possession of it for 30 days after it closes. So you have time to clean it out, even though there's not much, but. I guess I'm just seeing if there's a chance I can help you during the winter so you can just breathe and relax and let me handle it. And I, I help a few hundred families a year, so I'm, I'm very well capable of taking care of it for you at least. How about this? Would you be open to me going and taking a look at the house and then telling you what I think I could sell it for and how quickly? Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. All right, I can do that. I mean, I, I, um, let's see, you're down in Allegan. All right, well, here's what I'll do. I'll I'm, I'm at Dun Lake myself. You, okay, well, the, the, the property, right, Minkler is right, right by, the, right near there, right? Right. Uh, it does have lake access. Yep, yep. Yeah, I used to live off of Green Lake, so I wasn't far from, from Minkler and, and, uh, uh, let's see. What's that other one just south of Minkler? Is that Baseline? Yeah, Baseline Lake. Yep, yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you know, if if I could show you a way that I could sell it for you in the next 30, 45 days, would that be a would that be a problem for you? No, it wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> All right. Well, 
<laughs> I see an email here. It uh, looks like first name, last initial, seven zero at Gmail. Is that yours? Yes. Okay. Um, what I'll do, Miss Myrtle, is I'll shoot you an email with my welcome kit and my eight-week marketing plan so you can actually see okay. what I do. Um, and the welcome kit will familiarize you with me and my family and my business so that you, you're familiar with me, okay? Um, okay. So I'll, I'll run it. Do you owe anything on the property or is that all paid for? It's all paid for. All paid for? Okay. Um, so I'll go out and take a look at it this week and give you a call. Um, if you'll just, you know, do me a favor and kick your feet up and look at that welcome kit a little bit and the marketing plan, uh, I'm pretty confident I can get that thing sold for you. And then I'll send a mobile closer to you. So you don't have to do anything. Now, where are you from? I'm in Grand Rapids in Cascade. And I lived down in Caledonia, Allegan area for a few years and I service houses down in Battle Creek and Kalamazoo up to, you know, Muskegon, out to South Haven, out to Greenville. I'm from Texas where everything is 45 minutes away. So I'm okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I'm okay servicing places that are an hour out because, you know, the internet has, has helped us with the, uh, the need to have a hyper local agent. Now the internet helps us market. Right. So yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, okay. uh, I appreciate your time and I will get back in touch and see what I can do to help you. So you can keep kicking those feet up in Florida. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. I appreciate your time. Ms. And Brown. your name again. Yes, ma'am. My name What's is your name again. My name is Brandon Vidal, like, uh, like Vidal Sassoon. Okay. You know, you know what that is, right? No. Oh, the, sh the shampoo. <laughs> From back in the day, Vidal Sassoon? No? All right. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's my last name. I don't I'm not related to them, but uh but yeah, my name is Brandon Vidal and I own Vidal Properties. Okay, Brandon. All right, Miss Murray. All right. Well, good morning, God bless. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye. Bye. All right. There's a good one, guys. So, I mean, look, it's only $100,000, but it's it's a victory. So she said, I'm not listening. I'm waiting till the spring. She said, I was in the industry for 40 years, but I've been out for 10. So I don't really know everything that's going on. So I just stuck with it, guys, right? So she's like, I don't want to have to fly back there. I don't want to have to deal with it. Perfect. Let me sell it for you. I'll send a mobile closer to you so you can keep drinking those Mai Tais at the beach, lady. Which she thought was funny. So um, people will give objections. You've got to be able to let them go. Look, you're not going to get a yes on the first or second or third question. A lot of the times it's the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh time that you talk to somebody or, the, or, or that you mention it. <clears throat> And sometimes I don't know how I do it. She literally told me, I know what you're doing. I'm not listing. If you have a buyer, I'll pay your fee. And next thing you know, look, she, I kind of snuck in. I said, look, I'll go take a look at it. I'll tell you what I think I can sell for now quickly. Are you up for that? She's like, yeah. You know, and if I sold the place in the next 30, 45 days, would that pose a problem for you? She's like, no, it wouldn't pose a problem. Well, great. Then I'll talk to you soon. I'll shoot you an email. I'll shoot you my welcome kit, my digital welcome kit my eight week marketing plan. And, and then I'll check back on you. So I'll put that in my schedule. I'll go out and see that bad boy. Uh, what's today? Today is Thursday. You know, maybe I'll, I'll drive out there tomorrow and pick one of the listing. So every bit counts guys. That's a little win. I like that one. So go ahead and go, go see it. Black box on tour. Code, I believe. Email is good. Okay with me selling. Send mobile closer. Boom.
Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Brandon. Is this Mr. Bresnah? Yes. Hi, good morning. How are you? I'm fine. What all right, all right. Voice? Well, uh, I own and uh, run a real estate company here in Cascade, and I noticed the property on Dogwood. I was curious if that's something that no, you're we're not still selling anymore. Sell. We're done. We're out of the market. Well, good, good. You're going to stick still then. Okay, that's good. Yes. It's, it's easier than moving, for sure. Um, and I know it's a 2015, so you probably don't need – oh, wait a minute. I actually looked at this house in 2015 when I was moving here. This is the one with the water tower out back, yeah? Yeah, it's one of several with the water tower out No, back. no, I mean, I, I think that this is the exact house I looked at in 2015 when it was new. Interesting. Well, I um, think it was available in 2015. Uh, we bought it in 2015. Yeah, it's like May. May it was like May of fifteen when we visited here to look at some places from Dallas, and I just remember seeing that in the backyard. Um, well, so what I was getting at is since it's not that old, um, you may not need anything. But are there any referrals you might need for gutters or concrete cleaning or anything around the house? No, no, we're don't all need fine. okay. All right. Well, I appreciate your time. And, uh, you know, in case something changes, I, I'd love to stay in touch and just be a resource. If that's okay with you. Um, I don't need anything like that. Thanks okay. Hey, thanks for thinking about it and have a great day. All right. All right. Bye. Yeah. I looked at that house. I remember that water tower. Don't tell me it wasn't there. I looked at it. Big fat giant water tower right in the backyard. Well, how do you sell a property with one photo? Guys, don't put one photo on there. Come on. Has been forwarded to an automated what are you voice doing? messaging system. Ginger. Five, one, seven. Oh, would you eight, have one photo? Six, two, three, nine, nine, three is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press what. Well, hi, good morning. My name is Brandon. I was looking for the Nelson residence on 14 Mile. Do I have the right number? Yeah, you've got the wrong numbers, sir. Oh, no, maybe I punched the wrong numbers with my big old fingers here. I, I, meant, <laughs> I meant to hit 402-455-4647. Is that what I did dial? No. I didn't? 402-455? No, you didn't. 402-455? I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry, you got the wrong number. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I just want to make sure I didn't hit the wrong number and I don't call you back. I I dialed 402-455-4647. Is that, is that the number I, I called? Yes. Oh, okay, all right. So I will make that a bad number. This isn't a sales call or a collection call. They just they had a house for sale and I was trying to reach them. Um, so let me see here. Oh. Bad number. Wrong number. Sir. Oh, that's quite all right. You might get some more calls from some other agents looking for them, but it won't be from my my company, Vidal Properties. Just so you know, okay. Yeah, okay. So maybe probably to, okay. probably today and tomorrow, if you get calls from like six one six numbers, maybe just let it go to voicemail so it doesn't bug you. Okay. You there? Hello? Okay. So I didn't put enough stuff in my hair, so it's falling down all over the place. A call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system.
I was probably more like an hour. Hi, you've reached Jody. I'm not available. Please leave your name, number, and a message. I'll call you right back. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, press <laughs> Hello, my name is Brandon. I was calling to catch up with you guys about the property I noticed on Dumont. Is this the right number? Yeah, we actually sold that to somebody. Oh, you did! Congratulations! And, and he he's got it in the paper for sale. <laughs> All right, so, so you're you're the prior owner. Uh, so you're the you're the prior owners, not the current owners, then. Right, uh, right. He's still he's still making us payments, but. Um, oh, yeah, I you'd see. You'd have to call his number. I see. So he did buy it from you on land contract. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Do you have a Do you have a number for him? I have a couple extra numbers. I don't here. have. I, uh, okay. I don't have. Okay, I'll try to reach him. Do you know? Can you um, Can you tell me his name or at least his first name? Do you know his name? The guy at Do Monroe. Robert and Janet Kruger. Okay. All right. Well, I will give them a shout. And out of curiosity, do you know anybody on planet Earth who will need a realtor anytime soon, or should be, or should be one? Not right offhand. <laughs> All right. Well, I appreciate you taking my call. You'll probably still get some calls this week from other agents. Um, so we've been, we've been getting them quite a bit. Have you? Okay. Well, hopefully everybody's been polite. Yeah. Yep. Okay, great. Yep. Well, I'll continue that. Thank you for your time. You have a blessed day. All right. All right. Hello. Well, hi, um, Christina. Yes. Christina, it's Brandon. Oh, hi. How are you? <laughs> How are you? Good. Doing real well. Yeah. What's going on over there? You guys still uh, filling the, the the place out with kids? Selling, did you say? I no. I said you still filling the place out with kiddos. I can hear them. Oh, man, Brandon, I got them everywhere. Oh, my gosh. Well, hey. Um, everywhere. We get, yeah. I, I noticed that your place was for sale and it expired. I would love to have a chance to help you. Would you be open to talking with me about that? Um, I, uh, maybe something you want to talk to Joe about, Brandon. Yeah. I'm not for sure what he's going to do. Okay. All right. So that, that would be something you would need to talk to him. Okay. Um. Is his number the 5332 number? Or 17? Uh, no, his is the 6335438. Okay. I'll give him a shout and see what yeah. I can do, okay? All right. I didn't know you guys were thinking of moving. Where are you going to go? Well, our whole thing is we want to downsize. Okay. Get some a little get some a little smaller, but my problem I'm having is that I can't find anything where the basement is sufficient for the daycare. Or if I find the basement, I can't find the upstairs. Or if I find the upstairs, I can't find the basement. Ah, okay. Huh. We had had one. We had one, but um, I don't know what happened. We ended up getting getting outbid. I I don't think I think it was because of our realtor that we had. But um, we had one, and then we got an outbid on it. So then we just decided to quit because 
know, it's just too much of an asshole. I gotcha. So, I gotcha. You know, but we want to downsize because, you know, it's a lot of work. You know, five and a half acres is a lot of work yeah. to keep up. Yeah. And 3,600 know, 3, square, 3, square feet isn't yeah, easy either. Retired, yeah. yeah, Joe retires in three years. So, you know, he's not going to want to keep taking care of this place. Huh. You know? So, I don't know. You know, we've talked about, you know, we go back and forth on it all the time, Brandon. Sometimes we do and sometimes we don't. I just, you know, we don't know anymore. Yeah. You know, we can't find anything and that seems to be the problem. Yeah. Well, so, I have methods of... I have methods of helping you guys, you know, uh, find a way to buy a property before you sell. Um, and I can help okay. you find one and I can help you find one that's not on the market. Okay. Okay. Um, All right. So, uh, yeah, well, I'll, yeah, you, you, I'll give Joe a Go call. Ahead. I'll give Joe a call. Yeah, give him a call and, and talk to him. All right, dear. Well, um... Aviana, Aviana keeps saying she misses you guys, so we'll have to bring you bring her by, okay? Oh, of course. We would love to see the kids. Yeah. Aw. Well, keep it up. Tell the yeah, tell the girls right. tell the girls I said hi, and um, I'll give Joe a call. Hopefully, we'll see you soon, okay? Uh, all right, we'll do. All right, bye, Miss Chris. <laughs> bye. Wow, that is interesting. That is my my daughter and my kid's daycare lady in Caledonia when we were living there. So she she didn't call me, which is a little embarrassing and a little uh, you know, a little interesting. So that's okay. Uh, what I didn't do is I did not want to make her feel bad about that. So I didn't even mention it. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna get rid of these other numbers, put in Joe's number. Let's give Joe a call. is not available. Tom, hi, my name is Brandon. I was calling about a property I noticed there on 14 Mile in Greenville. Uh, if you would give me a shout back, this is my cell phone number, 616-202-2802. Thanks so much. I look forward to speaking with you. He doesn't answer, I'll call him from my cell phone. Hello, Miss Alyssa. Please leave your message for 508. Yeah, let's give, let's give Joe a call. Hey, I can't get to the phone right now. Um, this is Joe.
Hey, I can't get to the phone right now. Um, this is Joe. Joe, hello, my good man. It's Brandon, Brandon Vidal. Hey, I wanted to touch base with you. I just got off the phone with Christina. Um, she asked me to give you a call. If you would, call me on my cell phone. at 616-202-2802. I wanted to chat with you guys and offer you some help. I'll talk to you in a bit. Bye. Hmm. All right, so we'll make this a shorter video. We've been on for an hour and 17. We have a $530,000 appointment set at 21 minutes. We have a $389,000 nurture at 28 minutes and a $100,000 appointment at one hour. And now about a $330,000 contact here at one hour and 15 minutes. Um, I'm pretty confident I can get an appointment for that one. Not quite sure why they didn't think of me in the first place. And that's okay. I won't even bring it up. I won't mention it. And um, they'll appreciate that. So, all right. Good morning. I'm going to do a couple things here and come back, make another video and um, get after it. So, guys, it's that easy. That's an hour and a half of lead generation. And we're looking at 3, 4.30... Um, 1.1, 1.6, almost $2 million worth of um, potential business in an hour and a half. So it can be done. It's easy. It's just a matter of uh, getting on there and making the calls. And Alyssa used to say this to me all the time. Lead gen, it, it fixes all ailments. And it does. Okay, so um, just put yourself out there. Start talking to people. Start making mistakes start fumbling. Look, lead gen is an art and it's important that you script practice and role play with somebody. So you're practicing with them instead of practicing here. So if you need a role play partner, if you're looking for somebody to practice scripts with um, and you need some assistance there, just hit me up, DM me, uh, contact me, find me, call me. And, and I'd be glad to walk through some things with you. It doesn't matter where you are in the country or in the world. Um, our scripts and dialogues, uh, they, they work. So good luck today. Go get yours. Go get your unfair share and uh, hit me back. Let's see what you guys learn from this, if anything. Thanks so much. Have a blessed day.